I love it, man. This is fucking awesome. This is our Christmas show. It's gonna be a little bit different tonight. We are serving eggnog straight from the nozzle tonight. So if you're lucky enough to get a backstage pass, whoop, whoop, not you, sir. You, you, your dad can wait outside. You, fuck it. I'll bring you two just in case the bass player is as gay as I've read about on Wikipedia. Ladies and gentlemen, this guy is nowhere near as gay as our last bass player. But let me tell you something. He's such a great cop. How do you think he got in the fucking band? Make some noise! For what the fuck is up, Cleveland? Yeah! I love it here, man. Please I like your new blonde hair, dude. It looks Thanks, good. Man. I got an extra white stripe put in here, this blonde right here. It's, it's for Vince Neal, man. I had to do something. Remember him. It's my tribute to Vince. Did he die? No, but... Vince is still, still alive! We're gonna have a good season, you know how that goes? You know how it goes. How the fuck you guys doing? <laughs> Who was here last time we played here? <laughs> Alright, for those that didn't see it, last time we were here, I brought something very special for you guys, and I brought it back again. I made a candy during the pandemic because I had to make some extra money. I made these little booby-shaped candies that taste like strawberries. But the key to the candy and how I made money is that there's cocaine in the middle of them! And I brought some samples for you guys. They're called Spider's Booby Bites. Who wants a booby bite? Booby bites. Booby bites. Booby bites. Booby bites. Booby bites. Booby bites. Okay. Fuck yeah, Cleveland, you're awesome. Back to you, Okay, listen, he, listen, it's pretty gratuitous. I understand that. He just threw candy into the crowd to gain your affection. And the truth is, uh, there are some fucking young kids here tonight, and he just threw cocaine-filled candies into the fucking audience. So please, make sure those kids get a taste of that before anybody else does. All the drugs tonight! Make some noise! He's not only an incredible drummer, uh, listen, he doesn't get all the credit he deserves, and I thought I'd give him a little bit more credit tonight. He's not just a great drummer, people, he's also a 4.1 star Uber driver as well, in his spare time. And if you've never seen this, this is backed by popular demand. We had over four requests for it this month alone. He's going to do his impersonation. He's a great impersonator. His impersonation of the drummer from Def Leppard, Mr. Rick Allen. He feels bad too, but I'll tell you, a lot of people know this, and I don't think you even know this. What is it? Rick Allen is a super close friend of mine. I did not know that. Wow. That's right, the drummer from Dev Leppard is a close friend of mine. That's cool. That's cool, yeah. That's all you wanted to say? Yeah. I mean, I'm not as close to him as he's close to me, because well, he's, he's just alright. Oh, man. 
too soon. Wait, I thought you always have to keep them at arm's length. <laughs> Listen, I apologize. Both of those were terrible, terrible jokes and, and not worth the five dollars you paid to get in here. But I'll tell you right now, while these guys were making up stupid fucking jokes about a guy who lost his fucking arm in a car accident while he was with a hooker on cocaine, by the way. Give it up for that. I was learning about Cleveland. I was learning about your local town and I was learning some things on the tour bus reading your Wikipedia page and I learned that Cleveland has more Asian hookers per square mile than any other town in the world.
Prince House of Fun Arts right now. It's a Friday night. Come on, y'all having a great time, Michael? I love Friday nights because you know why? What do you say? Friday nights, I can drink as much as I want. I can do cocaine. I can stay up all night. And I don't have to take the trash out in the morning. You know what's cool? That's like every fucking night for me, dude! Jack shit because I don't have a fucking job and I live with his mom. And my mom's such an amazing dick, dude. Trust me. I know. Hey, 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 hey. Don't you talk, don't you talk about my baby that way. She sucks good dick, dude. She does. She sucks great dick. How many guys like girls that suck good dick? Raise your hand. Thanks, mom. This girl keeps going like this. Come here. Here, can you Hold on a second. This girl is, listen, she's very, very sexy from a distance, and I think, how many of you want her to get on stage right now and show her titties? Want to get on stage, show her titties? She's fucking hot. Dude, that girl's a 10. Let's make wait, 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 hold, on, hold, on. hold on. Let's make sure she's above the legal age of consent in Cleveland, which is 15 according to Wikipedia. Are you 15? You're 25? She's 25. She's too old, guys. I'm going to ask this over what? You, Spider, you think she's a 10? Fuck yeah, 10 beers, I'll fuck her. Okay. Look at those titties. Holy shit, her titties right. is big. Eight, eight beers, I'll fuck her. Wait, how many of you want to see her titties really quick before we go on? I mean, do you want to get on stage? Do you speak English, first of all? No, no, hold on a second. It doesn't fuck. How many people don't give a fuck what language she speaks? We just want to see her titties. How do you say titties in Swedish or whatever she is? Titten. Bring the titten up. Yes, please get up and stay. Just pick her up like you did with the joystick. Okay. Just pick, pick her up like a fucking bowling ball. <laughs> Dude, look at those boots, man. Oh my gosh, she's fucking hot, Michael. She's gonna be a lot taller than me. <laughs> Holy crap. Make some noise for Michael's stepdaughter. <laughs> Holy crap, she is tall. Holy shit. I can't believe you're over 25. How are you? Alright, this is gonna go well, I'm telling you. Once you see her titties, you're gonna be like, she's awesome. She really doesn't speak English. Would you? How many guys would like to see some movies and start this thing? Okay, hold on, before we go any further, what's your name? It doesn't fucking matter. It doesn't matter. Don't give us that to Give me a hug, just give me a hug. Oh shit, who's is this your girlfriend? Actually, just get her backstage fast, okay? Your wife? Too. You're fucking awesome, bro. How does somebody that cool get a wife like this? Well, let me just say this, sir. You are pretty fucking cool, and I hope you're fucking cool enough to fucking know that this girl's gonna have a backstage pass. And for the next two fucking weeks in your house, every time she farts, it's gonna smell like steel panther. And that, my friend, She's fucking me in the ass right now. I like it. That, my friend, is called the burden of being wonderful. It's also a segment.
Mr. Michael Starr on the lead fucking vocals. Thank you, my friends. Can I call you our friend? Cleveland! Can I call you guys my friends? I want to say thank you, my friends, not only for buying tickets to come to the show tonight, but for clapping after every song, and also thank you for everything you bring to Heavy Metal and Steel Panther. We fucking love you guys. Thank you. You guys are keeping heavy metal alive. Okay, do you realize how important that is? Not to allow another generation to grow up with fucking hip hop and Justin Bieber and that bullshit. When you guys see somebody with a Justin Bieber shirt, when you see them out in public, I want you to beat the living fuck out of these people, okay? I'm not, I don't normally advocate violence, but please just beat their fucking teeth in. Especially if they're a little kid, they fucking need it. But other than that, let's all get, get along as a Christmas season and shit. Let's all be friends. That's what friends are about. Dude, without friends, what is it? Listen, you're my friend. I'm your friend, you're you my fuck, friend. And you fuck my mom, right? Listen, dude, I, I do, I fuck your mom, but listen, we have more of like a father, father and son relationship. Maybe. Yeah, you are pretty old. No, actually you're older than me, but I fuck your mom, dude, so you fucking- Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Hey, you wanna stay in my house? You better take the fucking trash out. Fuck the trash. I ain't taking the trash out tomorrow, Saturday! <laughs> Alright, well you wanna stay in my fucking house, you better fucking give me some of that fucking cocaine I saw backstage, bitch. What are you talking about? I'm talking about the cocaine I saw backstage, bitch. That goes in the booby bite. You wanna fucking taste your mom's pussy again, you're gonna share that cocaine. <laughs> Let's go friends with benefits right there, guys. <laughs> Just
thank you. Uh, hey, how many people saw us when we were on America's Got Talent a few, a few months ago? I got, you know, obviously you watched that and we lost. We lost that show. But I got great fucking news, dude. We fucking won. Lithuania's Got Talent. Turns out there weren't that many talented people over there, so we went over there and we won the fucking war! Okay, Rich and Eddie, you know what, dude? What is it? I gotta ask you a question. I've been dying to know this. I know Spider touched on a little bit, but I need to know specifically how many people are seeing Steel Panther for your very first time? Raise your fucking hands. It's fucking badass, dude. I want to welcome you to the show. And how many people are seeing us for your second or third time? Raise your fucking hands. That's amazing. And how, and how many people are planning on never seeing us again? Raise your hand. I suck my dick with my fucking butthole, dude. Yeah, with your mustache. That, that feels good, by the way. You really got That's what I asked for. I just want to say I'm so grateful tonight is officially sold out! Yeah. Those, uh, those seats at the top, we hold those for the Freemasons that are always empty for those guys. <laughs> just in case they don't even buy those seats. Just so in case, case, yeah. It's sold out tonight. Right. It's an epic fucking holiday show with the Christmas band Steel Panther all the way from Los Angeles, Cal! I'll tell you what, make some noise for this fucking guy right here, all the way from Italy! Make some noise for Marco! <laughs> it, it, it was not much fun, dude. And every, time Mar every time I throw a pick into the audience, Marco is counting. He's like a mathemat mathematical genius. Look at that, you just got a pick. You can sell out on eBay, eBay for 25 cents. Brand new pick, I got another one to replace it. Here's another pick for you. How do you do that? We're running out of picks here, the whole band's gonna fucking suffer. So here's a pick for you. Can I have a pick? Here's a pick for you for sucking my dick backstage. <laughs> that guy's cute too. I'm running out of picks. <laughs> running out of picks over here. Can I get a pick? Play your cards right, you know how to suck dick, right? I'll tell you what. One of my favorite Christmas seasons of all time was the year that Michael dressed up like Santa Claus, okay? And we found this blonde girl in the fucking in the front row, and we took her on the bus, and we both double teamed this girl. It was awesome. I'm listen, I'm not gonna go into graphic detail, but she was on the bus, and I was inside of her butthole. That's not graphic at all. And he was inside of her giant up balls. We're bouncing off each other. It was crazy. Remember when our balls were big enough to do that? And, and I was like, yeah, I was good. It was driving me crazy. I don't know what it is about your balls. Where you shave them was getting me off so hard. Fucking like mustache. And I was like, I can't fucking hold my, my load. So I felt like, I was like, I'm gonna come. And I fucking came all over this fucking blonde bitch's face. It was like, it was the best Christmas ever for this bitch, right? And I was like, just unleashing ropes of sperm. I'm trying not to get too graphic here. Ropes of sperm all over her face. And then, Six came into the back, the back of the bus and turned the lights on. I realized I came over Michael's face on accident. Fuck, fuck you. And it was a little awkward at first, but it got really awkward when he he licked all the cum up off his face. It was fucked up. But you know what? Hold on. That, that's the half truth. You know the truth of it was I wiped it off and I put it in my hair. And from that day on. I've been using sperm as a conditioner. Make some fucking noise. That's right. But you know what I remember the most about that Christmas? It was 1987.
my coattails for a long fucking time now. And this time, when we go out, if I do a guitar solo, that means you're gonna do something different. You're gonna fucking take it to the next level. This guy right here has never played the acoustic guitar and sang a song before in his life. So I taught him how to play guitar. Sounds perfect, dude. Hold on, hold on, I, Michael, hold on. So I taught him how to play the guitar. He's never done it before. And tonight in Cleveland, where the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame is, he's going to play the guitar and sing an original song that's off our brand new record. And not only that, Styx Zidinia, who normally plays the drums, which aren't even really a musical instrument. He's gonna play the fucking keyboards. He's never even touched a keyboard before in his life. It's so fucking easy! He's amazing! I've never done it before! It's so easy! Oh my god, you guys said this was gonna be tough! And not only that, but our brand new bass player, Spider, is going to hold the lighter because he doesn't know how to do anything else. Spider on the lighter. Does Spider have a special instrument tonight? I believe so. He does. He's also going to play a very special instrument. When I say special, meaning he is a bass player. Yeah, he's on the spectrum. The special special, special education. When he plays this special instrument, I want all you guys to make a whole bunch of noise because he's very, very sensitive. And I don't know when he's going to do it, but when he does it, please make a lot of noise. This is off our brand new record, a song about getting older. You know, when you get to be our singer's age, I don't know his exact age because I haven't carbon dated him yet, but I'll tell you, when you get to be that age and your balls start to dip in, a to in the toilet when you take a shit, you have a choice. You can give up on life, or you can just wake up in the morning and make a fresh determination to fuck as many bitches as you can on the way out. And that's what this song's about. It's called Ain't Dead Yet. Check it out. I'm a little worse when And I'm losing all my hair And my six pack became again the girls don't seem to care Can't shoot the jizz no more It's a 
okay? Make some noise for our Christmas show stuff. Yeah, I know you love Christmas this year. You got some dick bears on the vagina. Anyways, uh, I love you. But I'm looking at this girl right here, and I'm thinking, we should get her on stage for Christmas. Which I think is a what? Am I just is that a dunce cap? What's that? Did they give you the dunce cap? Oh man, this is your hat, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. You remind me of an elf. Take an ass. Hey, uh, can you bring a girl? Yeah, why not? This is great. What we're going to do right now is we're going to bring a uh, girl who looks like she grew up without a father onto the stage, and we're going to sing to her, and not just sing, but we're going to write her some Christmas music that's all original. Oh my god, she brought a friend too? Holy shit. Two girls at once? Holy shit. Yeah, get used to it. You're gonna steal the path, you're gonna get to fucking do this all the time. I already do it all the time. What do you think me and your mom do? Oh, with it? Yeah. That's good. Cool. Hey, what's your name? Presley. What's your name? Rachel. Make some noise for the two chicks, Presley and Rachel, dude. Hey guys, hey, how old are you? 17. Oh, oh shit. shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. 17, 17. Oh, no. Hey, you ever done you ever gone fishing and you catch a fish and it's too small, you gotta throw that shit back? Wait, I just I just got fucking word. It's 16 is legal here, guys! Oh, fuck, that's great, it's great news! Well, you guys are here, right? Is everybody hearing me right now? Can everybody hear me tonight? In Cleveland. I don't know if you guys are going to the weed store on a regular basis, but. When the lead singer from Heavy Metal Band says, Can you hear me? You have to say, Yeah! Can you hear me? Yeah! Now, how many people think we should get some girls that are above the legal age of 18? Raise your fucking hands. Don't be wrong, but you're not thinking you gotta do it. It's the law. It's your fault for not being old enough. I'm pretty sure 16 is a legal age. Huh? No, it's not. No, dude, you gotta read your language. Dude. I gotta read my language. You read your language, bro. All you gotta do is be Santa Claus. They can sit on your lap. It's no problem. Pick someone who looks 45. Oh god. Bring your mom up here. Hold it. What happened to the girl in the boots? You know what? Wait, right here. This is a great way to figure it out. Are there any women who have been through menopause? Raise your hands. Which one John is busted? No, no, you can never work. No, no, no. I mean, we haven't seen her much in her life. No, never. No, you don't have the fucking little speakers that go out. We're on the edge of it. Hey, bring that girl right there. This one here. Yes. There you go. Thank you very much. Oh, 
look at you and I can't help but find it on my knees. I see your face every time that I go out and cheat. Fisherman's Wharf. It's fucking crazy. These girls are really fucking excited, and I can tell they love to party all day. But the question is, do they like to fuck all night? Party all day.
having a great time with us. We'll see you guys soon.
second. It's not just the fucking Christmas season. It's also the hat catching season. And that means if we don't all catch this fucking hat, nobody goes home tonight. So let's fucking do it. Let's try to throw it good this time, okay? Fuck it. Michael, put a fucking little bit of effort into this shit. Happy Santa! Go back!